Okay, so today we're working on the handshake problem. And we have a new group of friends, so to introduce themselves, they're going to shake each person's hand. But they don't want to shake hands twice, because that would be awkward. So let's see how many friends can shake hands in this group. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now Lacey's going to shake hands, but because her and Cheyenne already shook hands, she's not going to shake her hand, so we're going to keep counting them. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, I already shook everyone's hand, so I have no one else to meet. Um, so in a group of six people, there were 15 handshakes. What are some other ways we could figure out this problem? Today, we're going to look at the handshake problem. And it says, we have six new friends. If they all shake hands, how many handshakes will we have all together? Let's look at this problem in three different ways. Illustration, table, and a number sentence. First, we're going to look at this using an illustration. We have six different friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all going to shake hands. So we're going to illustrate it by drawing lines. So person one is going to shake hands. One, two, three, four, five different times. And let's record our answer down here. Person two is going to shake hands. One, two, three, four times. Because they've already shaken hands with person number one. So they have four handshakes. Person number three is going to shake hands. One, two, three times. Person number four is going to shake one, two different times. Person number five only has one person's hand to shake. And person number six has already shaken everyone's hands. So we can put a zero for him. So that means we have five plus four is nine, Nine plus three is 12, 12 plus two is 14, and 12, 14 plus one is 15 different handshakes. So there are 15 total handshakes. Okay, now we're gonna look at this using a table. So we have the number of students in this column and the number of handshakes in that total group in this column. So, for one student, there would not be any handshakes. For two students, we would have one handshake. For three students, we would have three. And so on and so on and so on. But, can we find a pattern here by looking at this table? If we look at this, two times three, that's six. And then we divide it by two, we're going to get three. And if we times three times four and divide that by two, we'll get six. And then 4 times 5 is 20, and we divide that by 2, we get 10. So we can say that these two numbers divided by 2 will give us our answer. Let's look at it using a formula. Okay, so here's the pattern we found from the previous page. But let's break it apart and understand what it means. So we have the number of students multiplied by the number of students minus one. And that's because, if you remember from the first page, the last person doesn't shake anybody else's hands. And then we divide that entire amount by two because you only shake hands with one of your hands. And that gives us the total number of handshakes we'll have for the whole group. We can put our formula into shorthand where it can be used by any amount of students. N equals the number of students multiplied by N minus 1, which is the number of students minus 1, and divide that by 2. And you can use that for any group number. You could also write this as a number sentence,
just like we did on the first page when we find out how many handshakes each person has. And that will give us 15 as a total number of handshakes as well.